So in this video, I want to talk about something that's been on my mind for a little while now, something I find very intriguing. And as someone who's really into electronic music and synthesizers, this is something I've definitely noticed over the last couple of years. And I, it seems like many of you have noticed it as well. I'm sure many of you are familiar with Behringer and the synthesizer clones that they manufacture. They, they're becoming quite well known and quite famous for this. Uh, they take old synthesizers from the glory days of uh, sound synthesis, old synthesizers that were made by companies like ARP, Sequential, Moog, etc., etc., and they make new clones of these old vintage synthesizers. And it seems to me a lot of people really have a lot of hate for Behringer and really can't stand the fact that Behringer is making these clones. So in this video, I'd like to pose this question, why all the hate? Now, what really got me thinking about this and what really inspired me to make this video is that I recently received a an email from a company, a company that's very well known amongst people who are into vintage synthesizers, a company that actually refurbishes and sells vintage synthesizers. And in one of their recent emails, they said some very deriding comments about clones, all these new synthesizer clones. And they made comments something along the lines of, you know, these clones will never replace the real thing. You know, they're just not as good as the original synthesizer. No kidding. Well, no kidding. I don't think we need to be told that. Uh, and I found that comment a little bit patronizing. I don't think anybody would deny for one second that these clones are anywhere near the quality of the original synthesizers. Uh, so I found this quote kind of uh, interesting and I'm sure they simply made that quote in an effort to, you know, increase sales and convince people to, you know, give them more patronage. And I, I guess in a sense, I don't blame them for that. They are a business and the whole point of running a business is to make money. So in that sense, I can kind of understand it. So again, saying that these clones are not as good as the real thing, uh, no kidding. yeah, it's just that kind of goes without saying. We don't need to be told that. I don't think anyone needs to be reminded of this. Everybody knows that the real thing is better. If you can have an original Mini Moog or an original Prophet 5 or an ARP Odyssey, of course, yes, the real thing is always better. But the thing is, most of us don't have a spare five to $10,000 sitting around. Uh, we're, most of us aren't rich, so what's wrong about putting a decent emulation in the hands of musicians who could never afford the real thing? It's kind of like when people say comments about, you know, Taco Bell, and when people say something like, well, Taco Bell, it's not genuine Mexican food. No kidding. Yeah, again, you don't need to tell us that. You don't need to remind us. I, yes, I think we all agree it's not genuine Mexican food. Nobody denies that. But having said that, even though Taco Bell may be the furthest thing from genuine Mexican food, I still really enjoy Taco Bell. So the quality of these new clones is very decent. I don't think anyone would deny that. Again, not as good as the real thing, but the emulations are fairly good. I think most people would agree with that. The sound is good. And I think Behringer overall needs to be applauded for this. You know, it's really, I, I, I've, been in, I've been interested in, you know, music and musical instruments and synthesizers. And I'm also into photography and I love uh, vintage cameras and, and all of those things. And I love retro technology. Uh, and it really always annoys me when I encounter gear snobs. Uh, gear snobs really, really annoy me. And, you know, I don't think anybody has the right to put down someone else using anything that they are genuinely enjoying using. Don't stand there and scoff and, you know, 
put someone down just because they're, they have a piece of gear that they love and they genuinely enjoy using and somehow it doesn't quite meet your standards. Well, it may not meet your standards, but it's probably perfectly acceptable for the other person. I'll also mention too that since the very early days of synthesizers, uh, synths have had a connotation of being playthings for the rich and the elite. And it was often noted that it was really only wealthy people who could afford synthesizers. But it shouldn't be exclusive. Uh, synthesizers should be for everyone. And if Behringer is putting cool sounds into the hands of folks who want the next best thing, but can't afford the real thing, what is wrong with that? I really don't see anything wrong with that. So I would encourage anyone, if you're into the Behringer clones and you enjoy them and you love them and they're lots of fun to use, keep using them, keep enjoying them, and don't pay attention to what the gear snobs may be saying. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, and please, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do. It's always greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye. I hear voices.